Hello, everybody. This is Maxine Taylor, America's first licensed astrologer. And spring has sprung. I've got a wonderful May forecast for you. Um, and before I go into the overview for you of each planet and when it's going to change signs, I want to mention that some of you have been requesting a special. Um, and I have waited until spring to do it. I will I am now currently offering a May special. Just go to my website, MaxineTaylor.com. You'll have all the information that you need to um, order your own special. And um, I think we're ready for this. We need it now. We need a forecast. Um, and maybe you've been counting your pennies. And so I have special pricing. I hope you enjoy it. All right, let's see what's going on here. Well, first of all, uh, before I go into anything, Mercury is no longer retrograde. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, we are so grateful. Um, however, as you may know, many of you know this, that when Mercury goes direct, um, it's no longer retrograde but it moves immediately into the shadow of the retrograde. You know, there's a, a shadow before it goes retro and a shadow after it comes out of retro. So it is going to feel and appear that Mercury is still retrograde. It's not. Yes, you can tie up loose ends now. Um, don't let the fact that it feels like Mercury is retrograde stop you. I do my um, best cleaning up, so to speak, after Mercury goes direct and is sitting there in the shadow because it's just time. Can you start a new project when Mercury's in the shadow? Of course you can but remember, it's going to feel like Mercury's retrograde. So uh, I'm not sure. Uh, <laughs> I hope, I hope that you cross every T and dot every I. Don't use the, the fact that it feels retrograde um, deter you from tying up all the loose ends sitting around your house. Okay. All righty. Now. Let's talk about the planets. The sun, the giver of life, is in Taurus, and it has been in Taurus. Uh, it is going to move into Gemini on the 20th. Now, the difference between Taurus, which is very practical, uh, slow moving, but it gets the job done for sure, and Gemini that says, okay, let's do it. Let's go. It's day and night. They feel like totally different planets. Um, they're just totally different signs. So on the 20th, get ready. Venus, the planet of love and beauty, and yes, art, and yes, money, is, retrograde, is not retrograde. Thank you very much. Um, it is in its own sign, Taurus. And so uh, food looks good. What money can buy looks good. There is uh, a feeling of uh, love to and from Mother Earth. Now you might say, with all those tornadoes out west, um, uh-huh, yes. This is a time when things will move forward, when they deal with love, when they deal with money. On the 23rd, Venus moves into Gemini. Uh, so we've got the sun moving in on the 20th, and on the 23rd, Venus. 
And this, wow, if you are single and out there socializing, you may find that there are multiple people to whom you are attracted, okay? Um, Gemini can do more than one thing at the same time. They can multitask. And so you there is an interest in communicating and talking to people and uh, travel, Gemini, short distance travel. So uh, Venus, the lesser benefic, just brings love, beauty, all the good stuff. Now, again, Mercury is direct, but it's going to be in the shadow till the 15th, all right? <clears throat> it's in Aries. Good time to hop to it, get to it. Mars, the planet of action and energy and passion and even war, is in Aries, period. It doesn't change signs. It's in its own sign. And so people are impatient. Uh, there is probably, well, there, there have been uprisings all over the world. Uh, and you might say, well, that's been going on for a while. Yes. And with Mars in Aries, it's going to keep going on for a while. Jupiter, the greater benefic. Remember, Venus and Jupiter are the two good guys of uh the zodiac. Jupiter is in Taurus. It has been, been in Taurus and it can increase money, which is great. And some of you are saying, where do I get some of that? <clears throat> You're going to get ideas about money, about everything in your life. On the 25th, when Jupiter enters Gemini. Jupiter expands whatever it touches. Gemini is the sign of communication, correspondence, transportation. And so our minds are active. Uh, are you writing a book, uh, a play, a movie? This is a great time when Jupiter, uh, after the 25th, when Jupiter moves into Gemini to take care of uh, and have fun with, uh, because Jupiter is jovial and outgoing, uh, to take care of all things dealing with communication. You might want to call family members. Uh, you will be, you might want to buy a car. You'll be wanting to hit the road. And once again, Gemini is a double bodied sign. The sun will be in Gemini on the 20th. Venus will move into Gemini on the 23rd. And Jupiter on the 25th is going to move into Gemini. So there's going to be a lot of communicating um, and thinking and writing and talking and talking. Maybe a little talking. See what I mean? Okay. We have a new moon on May 8th. Um, in 18 of Taurus, I'm going to include this in everybody's chart that I read. Um, and the full moon, which is when things come to a head, the new moon is when the energy starts moving forward. The full moon is when it comes to a head. Um, and the full moon is May 23rd, all right, when Venus moves into Gemini, Um uh, and two days before Jupiter moves into Gemini, you can see there's lots of communication. However, the full moon on the 23rd is in two, let's call it three degrees of Sagittarius. And that is uh, uh, ruled by Jupiter and it wants to expand, uh, wants to spread its wings and soar unfettered. Of course, I'm gonna tell you where that falls in your solar chart. So that's the way it looks. Uh, if you have waited for a reading from me, go to my website uh, and order a special for yourself. It covers either the birth chart 
or a six month forecast or a 12 month forecast. And it also includes a face to face with me on Zoom. I've made it affordable. So um, first come first serve, get in line. I will take care of things at my end. So till we meet again, may the stars shine brightly on you and yours. Bye for now.